Hello everyone, welcome to this video about pseudogout, also known as CPPD. CPPD is short for the terribly long name, calcium pyrophosphate deposition disease. In this video we're going to talk about the definition, etiology, symptoms, diagnosis and the treatment of the disease. Pseudogout is a disease where calcium pyrophosphate crystals deposits in the joint. This can lead to a sudden onset inflammation. Pseudogout typically starts in adults above the age of 50. Most cases are idiopathic, as in we have no clue why it happens, but in the minority of the cases, there are a clear underlying cause. These causes can be hypophosphatemia, hyperparathyroidism, hemochromatosis, or gout. For a long while, the disease can be asymptomatic. However, at one point, there will be a sudden onset of inflammation in one joint called monoarthritis. Sometimes it can also occur as an oligoarthritis, which affects two to four joints. Classically, the inflammation occurs in the knee, but it can also occur in the other large joints. As all other forms of arthritis, the joint will be red, warm, swollen, painful, and there will be reduced range of motion. Over time, chronic pseudogout can develop. This has a very similar symptoms to that of osteoarthrosis with a classical activity triad. This triad is first, when someone starts a movement and in the first seconds of the movement, there is a quite a lot of pain. Second, when movement continues, there will be less and less pain over time. And lastly, if the activity goes on for quite some time, it will be more painful again. Now to diagnosis. Arthrocentesis should be performed, especially in acute cases. When examining the synovial fluid, we can see rhomboid-shaped calcium pyrophosphate crystals. They are quite distinct from the needle crystals that can be seen in normal gout. For microbiology, there will be 10 to 50,000 leukocytes per microliter, with over 90% of them being neutrophils. This is in contrast to gout, which has 2 to 10,000 leukocytes per microliter, and septic arthritis, which can have over 100,000. X-ray can also be useful, especially in chronic cases. What you will typically see on an X-ray is chondrocalcinosis, which is calcification of cartilage in the affected joint. The treatment of pseudogout is very similar to that of gout. The best initial treatment to attempt are common NSAIDs like ibuprofen. If NSAIDs proves to be inefficient or if they are contraindicated, like if a patient is susceptible to peptic ulcers, then colchicine or intraarticular glucocorticoids are given. But generally, try NSAIDs first, and if they're not good enough, go over to colchicine or glucocorticoids. Thank you for listening. I hope it has been educational. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Cheers.